today we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're outside on my deck and we're gonna we're gonna talk about basil. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> Well, I'm out here with my buddy. <laughs> here it is as a baby. <laughs> it was a gift from a friend. It has grown so quickly. That's my basil plant. <gasps> oh, and I love the scent. Don't you love the scent of basil? I'm a big fan of basil, and it's not because I'm Italian and I've been gobbling it up since I was a youngster. It's just a great herb, in my opinion. So I was thinking we could discuss a little bit about handling and prepping and using and storing it. So what do you think about that? First, we'll address handling it, you know, pruning and harvesting. So if you see those purple flowers, <laughs> it's time to pinch them off. I would pinch them much sooner than the pictured ones, but, um, when you do, it's also a perfect time for harvesting. And you can see here, I'm telling you to go for the, the main, like the main stalk or stem in between the, the smaller ones, and that will help with the regrowth. Let's move on to prepping for whatever use you have intended for that sprig you just harvested. So make sure you wash it, shake it off, dry it, and then move on to removing the leaves and stems and so forth for your intended use. Place the leaves one upon the other, stacking them pretty neatly. Make sure they're not folded over, kind of straighten them out and then begin to roll. Now, you wanna roll this fairly tightly. It makes it easier to handle as well as cutting. And slice into those nice, thin ribbons. This is referred to as chiffonade. And they're beautiful and delicate and add just the right touch to your favorite dishes. Now on to using. There are so many ways to use basil, I couldn't possibly cover them here. People also use basil in baked goods and in their cocktails. I'm telling you, this herb is so versatile. Lastly, storing. There are so many different ways for you to store your basil. I won't even attempt to cover them all, but I'll go over a few of them. You could make your pesto ahead and freeze it in that fashion as well. Well, I hope you liked today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. Make sure you hit the bell so that you get notified every time a new video is uploaded. Well, that's it for today. I look forward to next time. I'm gonna head back in. Thank you for being with me.